Hi, greeting from Malaysia. I'm Michael Yap, uh, co-founder of the Seagrass Guardians and also the member of the head of Climate Education. What is seagrass? No, it's not a seaweed. Seagrass is flowering plants evolved in marine environment. It produces flower, fruits, and seed, just like terrestrial trees. Unlike seaweed, is a algae. Although it is as parents less attractive, seagrass meadows are productive habitat, which provide a wide range of ecosystem services. Those services are coastal protection from erosion, food and habitat, breeding and nursery grounds, and sequestration carbon. Seagrass provide food, shelter, and habitat that can support high biodiversity of flora and fauna. In one hectare of seagrass can support up to 40,000 marine fish and 50 million on invertebrate. And recent find findings conclude that the number should be doubled. Some are ecology important while some are commercial important fishery. Endangered species such as dugongs and green turtles depend on seagrass. Do you know that dugongs or sea cow feed exclusively on seagrass? and it can consume up to 40 kg of seagrass a day. Approximately 1 per 5 global fishery is contributed by seagrass habitat. In Southeast Asia, coastal community collect various resources from seagrass metal as food, such as rabbit fish, sea cucumber, swimming crabs, snail and clams. There are some coastal community ranging sea cucumber in protected seagrass metal. Seagrass, also known as the ocean green lung, where it absorbs carbon dioxide and produces oxygen to support various organisms. One hectare of seagrass can produce up to 100,000 liters of oxygen a day. In the same time, convert carbon dioxide into the plant biomass. Some of the plant biomass will trap in the sediments, all commonly known as blue carbon. Seagrass is recognized 35 times more effective tracking the carbon compared to the terrestrial forest. This offset carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and mitigate climate. Seagrass conservation still lacks, and what can you do to protect and conserve the seagrass? First, join, support, and even initiate seagrass conservation and monitoring programs. Second, Reduce boot speed when approaching or crossing seagrass meadows. This help minimize the damage caused by the propellers and artificial wave. Lastly, you can help researchers by reporting seagrass meadow by using the mobile app Seagrass Spotter. This help to map the distribution of seagrass and even can help local authority to develop better cost management plan to protect those resources. Let's work together to protect and conserve the seagrass meadows. Thank you.